Feelings of love surround us during the holiday season, and that might do good, more good than you'd imagine, especially when it comes to relatives and friends impacted by serious medical conditions. As we think about lifting spirits, it starts with hope, and that's why former NFL player Chris Draft is with us today. Good morning, Chris. Good morning. You are featured in a new initiative by the American Cancer Society. Um, I know your story, and I'm wondering if you'd share it now about what inspired you to get involved. Thank you. And my, my wife, Keisha, was diagnosed with lung cancer in uh, December of 2010 and uh, unfortunately passed a year later in December of, of 2011. Uh, but not before we were able to be married. And on that day when we, we were married, we made a commitment, a commitment to each other, but also a commitment to the cancer community. Uh, and that commitment to the cancer community wasn't just about research. It was about life and mm -hmm. living and reminding people of the importance of doing that. Mm -hmm. And that's why I'm excited to be a part of this Advantage Humans campaign, a part of American Cancer Society's Advantage Humans campaign, mm -hmm. because that's what this is about, is, is being honest about what it, what it means to be a survivor, you know, what it means to, to be a caregiver, and what are those traits that really bring us together. So mm -hmm. is it hope? Is it courage? Uh, is it tenacity, yeah. uh, devotion, or is it anger? Right. Uh, because we, we've got to be honest, and especially at this time of the year, it's, it's important to be honest. Mm -hmm. I know this campaign isn't specific to the holidays, um, but why do you want to spread the message now at Christmas? Well, you know, holidays can be a can be a tough time, and as everyone is, is gathering around and, and really appreciating each other, uh, you know, there might be some conversations that you maybe don't want to have because you want it to stay just positive. Uh -huh. uh, but it's important to have those conversations. It's important to really just talk about life and, and be honest. So there's three things that you can do, and that is let them know. So if you're, you're, you're there supporting a, a cancer survivor, let them know that you're there. Uh, don't just talk. Uh, you know, listen to them. And you can, you can always give them a hug. Mm -hmm. I think some people worry about saying the wrong thing, you know, finding the right words. Was there ever anything that you felt like was comforting? I, I think uh, it's just about knowing who you're, who you're standing by. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, sometimes it's just sitting with someone, allowing them to be more than, than their cancer. Mm -hmm. uh, possibly talking to them about, about your kids and what's going on. So it, it keeps it as, as real. Uh, mm -hmm. So it's not just cancer, it's, a, it's about life. I got chills um, when you said that so, about they're more than their cancer because that does, I mean, I think a lot of patients worry about being defined by the disease and everybody around them sort of being on eggshells and wondering you know, what, what's yeah. okay, what isn't. Um, but I'm, I'm wondering about hope at the holidays here and, and ways that our viewers, not just for their loved ones, but in terms of supporting this campaign, where would you point them? Yeah. Well, they can go to cancer.org. Uh, and at cancer.org, they can learn more about the Advantage Humans campaign, but they can also learn more about the work that's happening at American Cancer Society uh, that has been committed to cancer for over 100 years. So uh, they're doing tremendous work. They can learn how to uh, support that and, and, and donate to it. Uh, but if they, they need specific information, so somebody that's going through uh, cancer right now, if they need specific information during the holidays or, or any time, uh, they can call 1-800-227-2345. That's 1-800-227-2345. Mm -hmm. And that's a 24-hour, seven-day-a-week hotline so that you can get specific answers to your questions. Chris, thanks for joining us today. Merry Christmas. Thank you. Merry Christmas to you. Thank you. Mike.